Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to design a feedback gain controller for a system that's modeled in state space representation via pole placement in MATLAB. To start off, I'll define an example transfer function and convert that to state space matrices. And for an explanation on this part, you can check out my video on this linked in the description. And before we actually design a controller, it doesn't hurt to verify that the system is actually controllable. So we can find the controllability matrix with this command and then get the rank of it. And if the rank is the same as the order of our system, then that means the system is controllable, and we'll print that in the command window. So for pole placement, we need to figure out where we want the poles to be in order to achieve the desired performance, and you should be given overshoot and either settling time or peak time. And then from that, we can find zeta and omega n for the general form s squared plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n squared in the denominator, and the complex roots a and b of that polynomial are given by these two equations, then I'll define an array of the two poles that we found. At this point, we've done the hardest part because getting the controller gain values, k1 and k2, is actually pretty simple. MATLAB has this pole placement command that gives us the feedback gain matrix from matrix a and b and the desired poles. So let's run this and see what we get. The system is controllable, and here is the gain matrix K. You can check this answer against hand calculations and verify that the performance parameters are achieved by simulating this in Simulink. I might do that in a future video. Now let's do an example of a third order system. The main difference is that we need a third pole in the pole matrix. If the problem specifies to make it 10 times further away from the imaginary axis than the dominant poles, then we can just add 10 times a, or whatever that specified multiplier is, to this matrix. If the problem doesn't tell you what to do for the third pole, then you could look at the zeros of the system and use the zero to effectively cancel out its effects. You can manually enter the zero, or use this command to find it for you. Thanks for watching. You can find the code from this on GitHub using the link in the description. Like and subscribe if this video was helpful, and if there's something you'd like to see in the future, or if you have any suggestions on what I can do better, please let me know in the comments below.